Yeah, I was just thinking, it will it come up now? Now the recording, but it's not. But we're being recorded now. Okay. Do you want to carry on? <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, Cindy Gorney, SoulTimeWithCindy.com. I'm here with my colleague, uh, Philip Barrow. He is a star seed, amazing healer. And if anybody can fix it, Philip can. <laughs> exactly. Thank you all for joining us. So, so Cindy, uh, you, you're, you're a cash reader. What, do you, what does that actually entail? What do you actually do? Um, I, I read your energy, so um, I tap in, I, I, I get, you know, answer clarity, I, I feel what, what, what's going on, um, I love to get the information from the Akashic Guides first, I share all that, and then there's always uh, room for questions afterwards, it can go in many different realms, Um I like to go through your whole body, your, your spirit, your mind, everything, and just get um, any information that they want to share. It's always different, and it always comes full circle. Like the first, um, the first image or the first message I got um, is always key to how it's going to come back to that same message that it started with. All right. So you have like. Uh... You have like guides who give you information from the Akashic. Right. Yeah. I ask, um, today I, I taught uh, in, in the Akashic and I ask uh, RJ Mudo, Haniel, uh, Michael, the Akashic, all the Ascended Masters and Saints to be with me. And it was very powerful. You know, I like to create sacred space before I uh open someone's records or teach, you know, I washed all my crystals. So it was very high energy, good vibe today. And, you know, I love helping others and, and teaching. So, so can they give any information about me? I give permission if you want. Okay. All right. Let me tap in. Um, I got uh, the first image was that you're you're a wizard and I see you with a staff like a, a walking stick um, and it's very green and, and mossy um, and uh, you're traveling uh, you're always um, searching for more information and as as this develops and unfolds it's like you're, um, you're, you're always getting deeper and 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 growing all your spirituality and and you you're very lighthearted. You're like, well, if that didn't work. Well, let's try this, and it's um, it's a nice little spinoff to be able to have that that cheerful disposition to, um, you know, try different things and you know keep keep working on it because we're all exploring um, healing our, our lives, our journey, um, more information, you know, the deeper you go, I think the stronger and the better. And um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing when you get like messages and light codes and, you know, out of body experiences. Um, it just keeps, it just keeps growing. Hmm. It, it's you think you know everything, and then you know more, <laughs> and it keeps on going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah like, I thought. Uh, I thought when I was traveling, I thought that it was all for my experiences, but then now, I, I do some uh, manifesting, and that I land at places because they need me. Hmm. So, so it's both. That's excellent. Yeah. Do I, you have I, any I, questions you want me to ask the accountant? Well, yeah, well, I will in a minute. But I, I actually go to the Akashic in a way. I go to the person's 11th chakra and I'll describe it a bit fully. And it, every time I go in, it's different. So you open a door 
and inside is like a room and it's like a table and the, it depends on the person's essence so you walk through the room and it's a book on the table and it's their blueprint and it it's loads of pages and when you open it it's all symbols and i'm starting to read them a bit now uh my source being my crystal source being translates them a bit and i'll be honest now and again if the person's having an experience and they're not happy i rub it out <laughs> i just i delete it so because it actually that's their contract if they've had a contract to experience here and they don't want it anymore i will delete it so the room is so different it's got it depends on their essence, I've noticed. Some are older worldy, some are quite modern, some are like advanced, and uh, that's how I go in the Akashic. But I, that's yeah. when I, I'm reversing their, that's when if they've had anything and they want to reverse it, that's how I reverse it. So let's see, yeah. any, go on then. The, you know, the, everybody's i think why you get a different message is because everybody's energy is different it, they're never going to give you the same message because it's you know it's somebody different is that what you're yeah but the actual saying, room yeah. looks different it depends i uh, I, okay. I believe that our personality is us in every life every life we've ever mm -hmm. had that personality is the soul personality so everyone's born differently and at a very young age you you know what sort of be you know what sort of child that'll be, and that is basically every life they've ever had has got that essence that you know like mine is a joking clown sort of attitude. Every life I've got that, yeah. But I've also yeah. got a lot of magic in, that, in many lives. From uh, one of my early ones got the magic spark, and that's why you saw Merlin's Mer uh, Merlin, which is connected to me. Saint Germain had a staff, he created magic. Moses had, had magic. These are all aspects of it. Now, some people say, why is it that you've got all these magical, you know, these well-known, famous, and it's simply as I come to earth when it's needed. I don't have the, I'd love to have a nice, boring life doing nothing, <laughs> relaxing, yeah. but I come to and earth when it's needed. That's, yeah. And when you honor them and you, you really can, you, you hold this sacred um, union with them, it's governed and they don't let anybody in there. If mm. you know, if you're frustrated or, or something's going on, you're, you're not like tuned in and tapped in, you know, it, it's like they, they hold that key and, the, and it's, it's interesting because they keep you accountable. If, if you're not, um, you know, in a state of grace, it, it doesn't work. Hmm. I, I'll ask you a question. Will I ever win the jackpot in the lottery? <laughs> I've been trying for years. Yeah, hmm? yeah so they're, they said to, um, but it's only if, for the best intention hmm. um, that you oh, need to is. tap into the, to the, yeah, so tap into the numbers. Hmm. Um I, 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 I got I, I got thrown out of the Akashi trying to make my timeline. I was trying to add it in. Two yeah. fish, One time fish I was beans. at a horse race. Yeah, fish I was at a horse race. Drag me out. Yeah. Oh. An and I was at a horse race. And uh, uh it was springtime and they everybody was betting on the horses and um I didn't really even know how to make a bet, but I tapped into peaches. And then I, and Peaches came in and I told them afterwards and they were so mad. They're like, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't know for sure. And I didn't want to say anything, but yeah. So, and I, I'm very connected to horses. I love horses. So, mm. you know, there's many things that you can try. And I'd like, like one time um, I was telling a colleague today, like, do you ever not get the answer? Uh, one time I, I, you know, they'll tell me, like, figure it out yourself. I'm like, okay. You know, I have quite a good relationship with this, these Akasha guides. And I kind of broke down the, the, because I asked him, should I go here or there? And I, I kind of broke down the name, the address, the numbers. So if you break things down with the choices and you kind of study it and you get like a little zing of one that kind of sparks uh, a good energy with you, I would say to choose that. Mm. 
Do they ever say no? No. When you ask a question or you're trying to find details, this is sometimes they're not allowed to. Um, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What do they look like, these guides, or don't you know? Um, I don't, um, I, I don't, I see them smiling, but I don't really see a face. I know when they're shining down love. Um, today, when I opened my records, it was like everything shot up to the heavens and it just kept shooting and shooting and shooting it. And it didn't really ever stop. So I felt that I was in the, like this heavenly angelic realm that, um, it was, I was like above the clouds and I was kind of like looking down. That's, that's how, how I so, went. Sounds I beautiful. I've actually, I've actually put David Starr, a picture of him in the angelic world on, on the wall. <laughs> a photograph of a white, a yellow shirt. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, when I saw, I actually got marched off in the Kashik and they were, I described the beings, they looked like scaly, but they could fly. So they looked like fish skin, but they could fly and they were very high dimensional beings. I'd even say probably 30D or something like that. They were very, very powerful. Very powerful. They marched me off in disgust. Just freaked me yeah, out. I, yeah, I just see like a white face with a smile. I don't really, I don't see any hair. Um, yeah, and I, and I, and I see love in their eyes and, and support. But that's all I see is this the face. No hair, no color, no neck, just a face. Uh, so where, where are the Kashik held? You know, I I don't know. <laughs> I've never thought about it. Probably in the consciousness and that stuff. Yeah. Um. They said, um, it's kind of like the, the key to your heart, and you know, you can use this tool just to, to kind of open it up and. You know they're there when you're asking, but if I ask a silly question, they're not going to give me an answer. If they're if they if I ask something I can figure out on my own, they won't, they're, they're going to tell me. You can't have a second opinion about your own opinion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any? Let's see. Can you sit, tell me? Have you got any other lives that I've been? No, I haven't found. In the cash any what any other uh, aspects um you mean like spiritual beings yeah that are, are with us right now or they come or any uh, any aspects in the oversoul of your oversoul yeah um uh metatron Merlin. I, I see an older man with that stick, but I don't know who he is. Mm. Uh, they're saying that he's he's your ascended master and, and that you can tap into him. And he's got this um, wood stick, but at the top of it, it's like a crystal ball. Mm. Hey. There's a few beings I know where you had that. Uh, Moses had that. Uh, oh, the, yeah, yeah. It looks like it does look like Moses. Yeah, Moses. Had, what he did, he, he was a sorcerer. Yeah, he, it's, people don't realize he's a sorcerer, and he didn't part the way. He created a funnel with the staff in the. He actually created a vortex funnel into the water. Yeah, mm -hmm. didn't create a way. Like that. He's told me. Uh, I never connected to. Him. Like him and like me Saint Germain aspect, he was a sorcerer. I never connected to him because I thought they were too religious. <laughs> I'm not I'm not religious. And they ended up both of them said they're not, but Saint Germain had to be because he was part of the church. So he had to pretend he was religious. And uh, Moses at the end of the day, a lot of the religion has took pieces and controlled it, haven't they? And that's probably why I don't like the bible anything because it's only a percentage that's real but uh yeah it sounds feels like moses i believe the staff's in egypt now 
dug it somewhere mm-hmm. God knows where. but uh so yeah what happened my my earliest physical being the dragon got the magic spark from the magic planet it doesn't sound like a fairy tale and that's why my over soul has got it i've used that magic spark i destroyed i destroyed a uh a factory i had using it so it can be quite powerful and dangerous <laughs> what what they said to me is that you are you are religious spirituality is your religion that yeah, this is yeah. it yeah so definitely. you know it, it's not um it, it doesn't have to be through church i just, i i take the best but bits i like and that's my religion yeah i agree with that right yeah. right I get um that. because you you know in your heart that they're connecting with you for a reason you trust them that is that is your connection and we don't you know we don't have to go to church you know we, we can just be any spiritual um, well, I, a, a, lot of, a lot of being a lot of people pray uh, i don't pray because i've got it inside i can talk direct and mm-hmm. uh a lot of praying is asking for something where i think we live our life and we live it as good as we are but if if we if we speak from our art then mm-hmm. and we we can talk to source from our art it's fine really yeah Right. I hope that's well, not. I hope that's not too political. <laughs> I've just lost no, five no. friends on Facebook. <laughs> no. Now I know that um, that there are connection. You know, we we feel that in every cell of our of our body that mm. you know that they're helping us, they're guiding us, they they are with us. So yes. Yeah. And it's different for everybody. Everybody has their own connection and it's okay. You like if someone is Jewish or Buddha, it doesn't matter. It's you if you have a connection, that's use it, you know, that's powerful and appreciate it and be grateful. And 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 you know, like because like when I teach people about the Akashic, like how to tap in, it could be any message that they want to get. Like, you know, I learned from some other people and you know, other groups in that, and like, oh, you can only do it this way. You can only say this prayer. And I, I don't believe in any of that. You can say any type of prayer. You can get any type of message and you can give your client whatever message you see, because if you don't honor that and, and, and trust it and have that connection, it's to me, it's, it doesn't feel authentic. It's false. Mani- ma- manipulating it. I prefer the word mantras to prayers mantras <laughs> yeah. uh yeah i've i've started connecting really high vibration this year i've noticed that to the point that one of the pe- people at the healing center he was healing me said my art had the cosmos in had the galaxies had the whole universe in my art and that's what it is if you ever need to channel or connect don't do it from your crown chakra or your head or anything. Do it from your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is direct to everywhere. It it goes everywhere. It can go everywhere if you teach yourself to use it like that. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that so much. It um, I I kind of feel like it's like a triangle. So my heart is so connected to, to my mind because you have to have the whole mind body spirit connection. Your heart has to be linked you know your your thoughts and it has to be the intention so i see a triangle i see that my third eye and my heart is connected and then it kind of beams out to this point and that's kind of where i where i get the information that it's like the the energy point like it it kind of like sparks or shoots energy yeah yeah your inner child is at your tailbone yeah which is your crisscross and you can go and but you can use that to go anywhere Go that into the element, elementals and stuff like that. I I fell out the matrix using that method accidentally, <laughs> so like you do. So, and uh, as these alien beings said, it's impossible what I did, but I did it anyway. So you can go. good, you know, and that's what makes you so unique. That you know, we can push through any barriers. Nothing is impossible. No, exactly. I've said that. For the last 20 years to all the healers at the uh, healing center if you ever think it's impossible you're you're just blocking it yourself 
but you're blocking the possibility of it yourself. Yeah. Uh, that's that's beautiful. You want me I was at the beach. Oh, yeah, go on. on, go on. You were at the beach. I was at the yeah, I was at the beach, and a woman did yoga, and I listened to that, and then everybody was leaving. I go, well, I could do a guided meditation, so I kind of, um, you know, got them grounded, and uh, I told them to take their their um their yoga mat and pretend like it's on a a, a magic carpet and fly around. We went up into the clouds, and it was really beautiful. So, so yeah, it was, fun. was that today? No, that was um, Thursday. Mm. It was sunset yoga. It was <laughs> sunset nice. yoga. <laughs> so, do you want me to talk now, Ealing, or do you want to carry on? Sure. Kashik, Ealing. Sure. Yeah, we, we agreed, by the way, but uh, Cindy could talk about the Kashik records, which sounds wonderful. You can just tap into something that's got every detail to be. I think it's got every detail of the universe since it was born, basically. So, well, how was it born, by the way, in the Kashik? <laughs> I actually know a little bit. So you tell me what you... Do you know? Know what? Do you know how, how creation was created? Um, uh, well, I, I go into the religious part of it, you know, that God created earth and well, what well, is you, what do you, this is how I was told, uh, and some of you will get triggered and say, that's it's wrong. This is my belief. This is what I've been told. This was it's told, okay. this was nothing, told, nothing is yeah. wrong. Nothing is exactly, wrong. Exactly. This was told by an aspect I don't, uh, tell a lot. And this is a rainbow dragon crystal dragon rainbow crystal dragon one of the early ones and what she and the, all my old high vibrational aspects of female feminine energy and what she told me was that source was on his own what he'd experienced so he sent his consciousness to all the all the planets were there but they were dead if you know what i mean so he sent his consciousness to all the planets and he chose the top 12, and I think people call them the divine ray now, the top 12 of consciousness, and he, he took everything else back. And these 12 were trying to create life. And the first life that was here were uh, crystal beings. Yeah, they, that's all they were. They were pure crystal consciousnesses. Uh, but he, he made sure that all these 12 divine, they had their separate conscious. Even though they were sources, they had free will because then they could create and create. And the next being, I think, not including the small little beings, but I'm talking about the big physical beings, the, the real ones were dragons. Dragons were the first beings that were created. And then they started, uh, before the dragons, so they used to be a bit of crystal, a bit of, Flesh, flesh and crystal, and then they got into dragons. That's what we told. That's, that's what she told me. So was that interesting? I've never told that story. <laughs> so wow, you know. very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I've heard about the what? divine twelve, and I think there's a thirteenth, but the thirteenth is source himself. So it's like a committee of twelve divine rays, or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was going to talk about. Eat my uh, how I do healing. Some of the little tricks I'm going. I'm going to let out some of my tricks. So a lot of a lot of healers like to do use energies, and they normally use earth energy. That's what they, you've always. Let's use earth energy. And um, decades ago, I was thinking, what boring earth energy. Earth is it's quite low vibration, isn't it? Because it's stuck in this three D reality, and I thought. I've got to test this. So I've been testing the border ever since. And I found out that the best, one of the best energies is to use your own energy, which mm -hmm. is chi energy or prana or panic. Pranic. Depends on what part of the world you're in. But you use your own chi energy. And what that does, if you send that out to someone's, where you, you're healing, that builds up their auric, auric field so it stops them getting attacked with uh, 
par spiritual parasites, demonics or whatever. And you can use, say, 80% of your own energy. Then afterwards, you can channel in energy to a bit like a battery, you know, a mobile battery charger, charge your energy back up. And what that's doing is it's refreshing your energy. So you getting rid of old energy and refreshing it with new. And then I started realizing, I started connecting, finding like moon energy was good for, uh, what was good moon energy? Moon energy was good for clearing and healing. So I channeling moon energy to clear. Then I found out, I started doing a dromedar energy because I'm a dromedar star seed. And that is very prickly, very, very prickly. Mm. Okay. Then I found out, then I started doing, I've also been doing, I do all these in healing. It depends what the patient needs. So central sun is a bit like source energy. So it's a bit like your own uh, soul energy. So central, mm -hmm. so you're not even using yours. You can channel in into your heart chakra and, and channel in, and it goes into your fingers. Sometimes it actually goes into a back of, a point in the back of your head. It goes into your nervous system and it starts coming out of your hands, the energy. Uh, I, I've also started doing higher chakras, uh, five, six, seven. The highest I've been going up to is 90, chakra 90. Uh, you know, we all, wow. a, lot, a lot of us only know seven, but you've got to be careful that the person can hold the energy. So the one that my favorites is 22nd, which is 5D which most people can hold that because we really fight. We're above 5D beings anyway. But mm -hmm. uh, by sending the energy of, that's uh, platinum ray, Christ consciousness, which is great, like, a, like a, a beam of light. And how you do that, you actually link up the pillars of light from each D dimension. So this dimension is up to uh, 15, I can't remember. 15 and it comes it goes in eights the other one i'm favorite of so the 22nd is the eye chakra in the uh in 5d 60 which is the galactics is uh 30th which is gold energy like gold crystal energy and that can be quite powerful as well so the 22nd and the 30th are the ones that i, I like to use and if i'm thinking i'm wiped out with this person I need to really, I sometimes do 60 to 90. It depends. I, I just like fix on the number and I bring it in. So I use my heart chakra and I bring it and I go all the way up to that and I bring it down using the pillars of light. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, I like to um, um, like bring them in my body, whoever I'm healing. Um, it, it, like if it's a client, a lot of times I'm, you know, I'm sending it and doing it and seeing it and all that. But if it's uh, somebody that I know that's struggling, um, I, I bring them in my body. And um, when I'm under the moon, I he talks to me, his lips move. It's, it's really beautiful. I see so many different things. Like I saw a woman with a beautiful neckline. Um, I, I saw, oh, I, when I, you know, meditate in front of the moon I, I saw a quarter and then he just spoke to me and I should have wrote it down everything he said but it was very powerful so you know if I know somebody that's having a hard time I just bring them in my body I I could just feel them just coming down and just joining me and healing together what I fancy doing I fancy what? I fancy bringing in an energy and I'll name the energy and then I'll change to a different energy and I'll change to a different one, but I'll tell you which energies I'm doing. I'll send you the healing, but I'll send everyone else watching it that healing and just see if you can okay. feel it. So I, if you can do like breathing exercises, you know, the, so you're breathing into your heart chakra, these breathing exercises, if you got big breaths and then little ones out, you start breathing from your chakras instead of uh, the normal thing. And uh, should we you want to close your eyes and let us know if you can feel this? Yeah. This okay. is, so I'm going to give you healing. If you need any healing, if anyone needs any healing, the energy you feel, tell the energy to go to the place you need. Okay. So the first one, let's see, I haven't used this energy phase. Let's use the crystalline earth. So. Okay. 
like a blue and white light crystal in it. Can you feel it? Yeah, it's going right to my heart. So the next one. And my feet were tingling a little bit. <laughs> the next one I'm going into, I'm I'm going out now I'm going to do like a cleanser. I'm going to feed in moon energy. Oh, that was kind of like deep, heavy, powerful. It felt masculine. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah it sounds it sounds right. The next one I'm going to channel in is uh, the underworld as an healing sea. It's like a light liquid sort of sea, and it's good for blessing. So I'm going to send some blessing energy in. It took me to uh, like a cave and then there was water and it was dark and um, it was kind of like the walls were kind of like like drippy, like caverns, kind of sparkly. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring in Andromeda energy. Um, it's just, it's, it's kind of light and it's, um, I'm getting love, sacred love. All in the heart again. Now I'm bringing in the energy of the universe. In other words, any energy you need will go through my hands to you directly. So anyone who's watching this. I'm getting uh, emotional, like my eyes are kind of filling up. Uh, so much love and gratitude. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful healing. Thank you. Right, the next one. <laughs> I'll do I'll do I'll do platinum and ray from the pillars of light, Christ consciousness. Now I could see like a, a blue a blue gold ray coming down, like coming in my my crown, radiating in my body and spreading it out to every cell. Very uh, electrifying and flowing. The next one from the 30th chakra, gold crystal energy. I'm seeing purple, uh, kind of um, like, um, kind of like a big, big purple blob, but it's kind of moving around. And another one, I've got two more to do. The next one is central sun energy. This is this is to build your life force energy. Well, I'm getting emotional again. My eyes are just filling up, flooding with love and gratitude. I'm very appreciative that I, I didn't come here. I, I came here to, to heal others and here I'm getting the healing. Like <laughs> sometimes life is better than you can imagine and you get more than you anticipate and more that you plan on receiving. Very grateful. All right, the next one. Only have this if you don't want any more, just put say stop and it'll stop. I'm bringing in the highest vibrations and Maybe the 60th or the 80th, it depends how far I go. It's either 60th or 90th, I'm not sure. So this is so high vibration that you might have a burnout a little bit. But just see what you can hold. Wow. To do this, I'm, I'm actually partially merging with Middle and Orient either.
very high vibration in in the heart space as well and um you know so so much emotion i don't think i ever felt so much love And I'm going to let's ground ourselves now, deep breaths, and just imagine all the negativity. Imagine a big tiger eye under your feet, and all the energy is going to that tiger eye. I haven't done that one before. <laughs> and we're back in the room. How was that? Oh, that was good. Wow. I, yeah. I get so emotional. I cry so easy. Like when I get really uh, like spiritual and when I receive, I I just well up. <laughs> yeah, I, have, big... I, I had a, a curse on my art chakra, my art me, from a Mayan curse because uh, I did something to the king's daughter. <laughs> I don't know exactly know what it is, but I can imagine where it is. And I put a, and uh, my twin flame from Apollo from Australia released it from words, and I cried for an hour. So wow. I don't normally cry at all. Um, how was that then? That was quiet. It was it was good. Thank you. And how can I help you? No, you tell me. <laughs> I, I was quite difficult right, because I was trying to channel in some of the energies in the body. There's only yeah, a I'm getting being. some. Yeah. I'm getting some tension in the back of your neck. Uh, the soreness I've got is actually shoulders, but that's because of all the energy that's just gone through it. Yeah. All right, Sorry, so let's clear that. Uh, maybe. Okay, you can close your eyes and take some breaths and let me clear you now. Okay. You're a hardworking man. My gosh, you do those. I mean, you're you're in um you're far away and you're always up all night. Need to, you need to receive as well all this love. So I'm gonna send it. Um, I'm gonna send you um, the the highest vibration from the sun today, and um, as the sun is coming through, in healing and clearing any tension, any negative um, energy or anything that's got this um like tightness that i'm getting in your body clearing that and as the sun like it's coming in and it goes down your whole spinal column and just healing um and soothing warming and kind of like melting away the tension down your whole vertebrae stopping at your root um and then I want to bring in this beautiful ocean that I saw today in, in Venice, Florida. It was so beautiful. And, and the, the water was glistening. It was sparkling. And it was, um, I, I was on the jetty and there was a, so bring, bringing in all that, that water, that powerful, the, the force is those waves come in and push back, sending all of that to you and let it transmute to any place that, that needs this this healing that's sending that uh, pilot flame to me yeah, and all those the the sparkle on 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 the little caps of water, those crystal images are just lighting you up. Um, all your organs and cells, healing, electrifying, raising your vibration, and just purifying everything to its highest optimal health. Your organs, your liver, your kidney, and just washing everything, cleansing it. Just kind of like stripping you down of, of anything that doesn't need to be there. Pulling out anything black or any sludge in your digestion. And then what I like to do is um, with this beautiful energy and love, I like to 
put you in a sacred bubble. And then I did something where I kind of start at your feet and then I just wrap you, you in this magical love, like a tight little um, sacred, um, it's kind of like a, like a chrysalis, like the, the butterfly that, that's cocooning and letting you enjoy this sacred space with, you know, wrap, wrapped, in, wrapped in love and keeping you in this um, highest vibration for, um, for one week. And I always ask them how long you need this. And they said one week. So. Enjoy your little cocooning of love and sacred healing. And uh, I like to put an intention, um, since we're talking about cocooning, and that it brings me to a, a butterfly that, you know, we're, we're all cocooning and healing and loving each other. And as we cocoon, then we blossom into this butterfly. And if there's any intention or any wish that, you know, if you can see a butterfly just landing on your finger and right now making a wish to the deepest desires of your heart to, to plant it on that butterfly and thank it and let it travel and flow and let that, that wish just manifest and go to wherever it needs to go. And know when you, um, and your fairy godmother's here and she's saying that um, your, your every wish is her command. And as you see a butterfly, know that um, it's gonna be answered when the timing is right. And then it's just floating and traveling with the most ease, love and grace to where you need to be and where you need to connect and just keep your heart open and follow this. Oh, that was Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was I was going to say, you know, my organs, or my body, my main organs. A medium was scanning me once while she was healing me. And she said, I've got like reef material, you know, like reef in under the water where you have reef cockles and stuff. I've got like reef around all my organs to protect. Me. Yeah, you did have some black stuff and some smudge and I, I kind of removed no, that. I've got a protection layer, reef reef material because mm. I'm obviously going to be a target we all are yeah well, thank you're you for that. Be, hmm? oh you're welcome you're going to be wrapped in uh safe sacred space now and um when I was at the beach today there was the uh there was you know it was a place called Sharky's I'm in Venice Florida and uh police were walking around and there was a um like a sheriff boat and all that. And I'm like, what's going on? I guess a manatee was hit uh, by a boat and it was under the jetty, you know, the big pillars, the big pier where you walk out, it was, um, it was kind of like cocooning and it was like staying near the, the pillar, you know, safe because it was hurt and wounded. But I sensed some healing and then she came up, like one of the uh, the rescue people were there and she came up and she got air after I did some healing and she, she did. So when I first went there, she wasn't coming up for breath. And the woman said, I go, is she okay? She said that she was a heat because she flipped over on her belly. But um, after I sent the healing, she came up like three times for air, which, which was good. She wasn't down there so long and she kind of, you know, brought her body up and they, they didn't have the, um, the manpower to get her. Like they would have to put her like on a, um, they would put her in a net and then pull her onto this board and put her into the, um, 
the, the police, like the rescue uh, boat. No, so, it should be okay. Yeah, it's kind of sad that that happened. Yeah, a world win. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that it now? Is, have we got anything else to say? I don't know. Yeah, you're probably very tired now, right? Hmm. I was doing I was doing so just before yeah, for an hour. So, okay. uh, I was at work tonight as well on a Sunday. All right. Day of rest. No. Nope. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. It's always a delight to to connect with you. Mm. Thank you. You're such a good man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's Obviously. Fun to learn. Obviously, I'm <laughs> sorry. That's not you. Know. <laughs> it, it's fun to learn from you. Hmm. So, and we all learn from each other. Yeah, exactly. And we all have our own way, and it's all it's all good. Hmm. My, my, my trick is that I like to merge with aspects. Yeah. On Tuesday, this is the last bit. My Lemurian Ela, another feminine, actually, came out my back, turned round from my back, came out and started healing an Ela. She saw it. She actually saw it. Very nice. Wow. Uh, but another yes. healer's seen me shape shift into it. Uh, so I've got two healers now that seen me. Uh, I've only connected this year. I was I, I was healing halfway, and all of a sudden I could feel my third eye crystallizing, like a green crystal turning. And all of a sudden my face started changing a bit, and I was smiling, which was very rare for me. And I felt like gold, like a gold pattern was coming around my neck. And, that's, and all of a sudden I felt feminine. First time in my life I actually felt feminine. That doesn't mean that I uh, identify as a female. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. Uh, I just felt the feminine energies, which was quite unbelievable. So yeah. and now, yeah. Aileen, halfway through it, she keeps on merging with me. Yeah? I, I'm on uh, Mayaka River, and I really love to meditate out here. And I give readings, and as the fish jumps up and slaps against the water, it, like reaffirms everything that, that I'm saying to, to my client. But I two days this week, I got this beautiful cross. Um, and it was kind of like the thicker cross with, you know, it, it was kind of like wider and it had shapes, but it was um it was all gold and it had burgundy and this these light codes were just shooting at me and it was so vibrant and, and beautified. I never saw anything like that. And that was the colors that were in my home. My home was gold with burgundy. That's good. Huh? So it, it was really beautiful. And I got it two days in a row, that same cross. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what a treat was that? It's not even your birthday. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I better go. Uh, it's okay. Quarter past twelve. Uh, oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Sweet. Rest well. See you and see you everyone. Okay. Bye everyone. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.